They threw the middle. It was a lovely ball and the challenge from I come to the top. Calabria. Go! Oh my god. Oh, 30 seconds in as Calabria. Go! Oh, no way. The music's still on. Oh my goodness me. The music was still on, bro. 1 0 Milan. <laughs> Oh my goodness me, betting is closed. This Calabria, he finds the back of the net 30 seconds into the game. I can't believe it. There's no way. That's one of the quickest goals I've seen in a while. But that is actually unbelievable. Literally before the 30 second mark. It's just quick passing players. Hernandez, he breaks for the middle. Plays a lovely free pass in. The shot comes in from Calabria. It's spilled by Musso and he gets a follow-up and he's there for it. It's a lovely ball in from Teo Hernandez, so credit goes to him. But Calabria gets lucky on his second attempt, but he's never going to miss as the ball comes back out to him in a pretty much open goal situation. I don't know if it came off the goalkeeper or the defender. See my nan happy with that one, clapping it away. But incredible stuff. Straight up the other end and straight into the back of the net. It's 1-0 to AC Milan. He putting on the pressure and he's got it. Tonali. Oh, Tonali goal. Oh, my God. There's no way. I think it was Froehler who just made a mess of it, bro. And Tonali puts the pressure on, takes the ball, drives into the box and scores 1-1 one -on -one against the keeper. Unbelievable play from Tonali and I can't quite believe it Sandro Tonali has only gone and done it guys it's an absolute error at the back there waiting too long on the ball Tonali coming in with pace a brilliant challenge and to bring it forward quickly and to find the finish he's done so so well in that situation and he's found Milan's second goal of the game it was Freuler Again, he's made an absolute mess of that. What a shambles for him. And it's an easy finish in the end for Tonali. Yeah, for Froehler, I'm just not sure what he's doing there. Tonali gets on the right side of him. Brilliant pressure from Sandro Tonali high up the pitch. And a brilliant finish as well. Keeper's not really giving him too much to worry about. He's gone the wrong way. And it is going to be 2-0 to Milan, guys, in the first half. And now I'm celebrating that one too. Kim, the flicking it back for Leo. Oh my God, and he calls into the top bin to make it 3 0. What a goal from Rafael Leo. Incredible strike. Curling one into the top corner. What a goal. Oh, go, 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 go. For Milan, but Rafael Leo. What an incredible strike it is to make it 3 0. Brilliant from Rabic. Yet again, and. Like I said before, he's been creating all game. Doesn't need to get involved in the goal scoring because, again, it's brilliant from him. Brings it forward, flicks it out wide and sets up a perfect finesse shot from Leo to curl that one into the top corner. And this does deserve a little look on the replay there. It's literally one end to the other from Kessier's interception. Leo flicks it back inside to Teo Hernandez. Sorry, I said Rebic. It was Hernandez for the assist. It was Hernandez, which is what I meant to say, isn't it? But Hernandez lays it off to Leo and first time flicks it into the top corner. It looked like Hernandez was fouled there as well in the build-up, but just stays on his feet. That is the big question. Zapata from the penalty spot up against my nan, who's been brilliant today. And my nan come through with a good to game. What will it be Duhan Zapata? Yeah, what I believe would be a consolation goal for Atalanta. Referee about to blow his whistle. And here we go, penalty, Zapata, goal, wins in a roof and a net, and Atalanta have got one back. And uh, Zapata trying to take the ball back to the centre spot quickly, but my nan holding on to it, and there's a bit of a beef now after the goal was scored. But yeah, it's a good penalty, powerful shot into the roof and the net, making it difficult for any keeper, when you, especially when you dive to the side. And yes, a brilliant penalty straight into the roof. And yeah, I like that. I think that's a good finish from Zapata. 3-1 is the scoreline now, guys. By Messias Jr. And he's fouled him, but no. And again, driven in. Chance. Big chance. Finished off as well. There's the goal. And they're back in it. It's 3-2, but there's only a minute left. Unbelievable scenes here as Atalanta have found their second. How was there no foul earlier? So many complaints coming from the Milan players. It looks like Kessier was clipped over, I think. Want to have a look in the replay? It looked like there was a foul, I'm honest with you. Or, no, sorry, Zapata. Um, 
brings down someone over there. Was it a foul? Looks like Messi has sort of tumbles into the back legs of Zafta. And Zafta just drives it in low and finds his man in Pasalic, who just slides it inside the keeper. Pasalic finds the goal. And the free kick's taken, and the referee blows his whistle for full time. Pressure has been relieved eventually. You can still see some of the Milan players complaining, maybe about the fact that that was given as a goal, considering it looked like it could have been a foul beforehand, but doesn't change the result.